Welcome back. We are here looking at the U.S. tech stocks, and this is going to be my daily forecast for Monday, November 2nd, 2020. If you'd like to support the channel, you're welcome to hit the subscribe button down in the corner, hit the like button and the bell button in order to see our newest videos. We have a signal service on Patreon, and we'll also add uh, more content for those people that join us on Patreon. So let's get to it. Uh, we'll start out by looking at Netflix and Technically, if you look at all of these tech stocks on Monday session, it was a horrible, horrible day for most of these tech stocks, except for Google. But Netflix fell 5.65% in one day. Netflix. We have found resistance where we expected to find no support. We found support when we expected to find support, and that is the 150 uh, moving average. It's around here at the 475. And at this point, I'm. I would basically guess this is the furthest we will see Netflix fall. We can just see we have been here several times before. Here, 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 and now again here. So Netflix has been trading within this range, this low range, and this high range. And the thing is that if we break below this, then that opens the door to the 200 moving average, and we'll definitely rally from the 200 moving average. Um, good entry is basically here. This is a good shot. Basically, uh, put your stop loss underneath, and that is uh, um, a good entry for uh, for this stock. I would, however, look for the um, signal of the um, stochastic to show whether or not we are going to go to the upside or yet. Because usually when we fall, we rally up towards the 50 moving average, similar to here, and we did the same thing here. Then we fall completely collapse. Then there is a, a period where we trade sideways, and then we just absolutely explode to the upside. So I would guess before the uh, the U.S. election, we'll go trading sideways, and then when the U.S. election is basically over, then we'll start trending upwards again. So we have the highs of 574 with the lows of 473. A break above or uh, underneath or above this. Um, this um, price levels, we'll see the price go significantly lower or significantly higher. If you look at the technical indicators, we are significantly oversold at this point. The, uh, the CCI is pointed to higher levels, the MACD is pointed to higher levels, same goes for the stochastic, and the Bollinger Band is basically at the bottom. So I would not be surprised if we rallied on Monday, uh, but we could also trade sideways as we have done um, in previous patterns uh, the last few months. So Microsoft, we fell 1.1%. Um, that is why it was one of the uh, best tech stocks that uh, at this you know, on Friday session. But we hit support here at the 50, 150 moving average. So similar to to um, to Netflix, we are trading at a low of uh, 119 or a little bit lower than that, and the highs of 233. At this point, we are significantly oversold. We are expecting a rally to the upside um, at any point, probably after the election. So there's going to be a lot of uncertainty, a lot of bad news, and so on, and probably also a little bit of good news. We have still the pandemic. We still have an economic um, situation in the world economy, also in the United States economy, even though GDP numbers were very good. That does not, that's basically in the shadow of unemployment and unemployment benefits and so on and, con and consumption. So when those things get back together, when, when we get... Uh, consumer spending back and when we get people back to work then you'll see s p 500 the dow jones and and most of these stocks also will start to increase at this point if you if you break below the 50 150 moving average that opens the door to the 200 moving average that's 190 uh, a rally from here will find resistance at the 50 and then we'll find resistance here at this top at 225 and then to these highs if you look at Apple, Apple fell exactly where we expected it to go. We found support here at the 100 moving average. And this is probably as far as Apple stock will go at this point. At this point, at least. 
we are oversold. Technical indicators are still fairly bearish, all of them, MACD, CCI, Stochastic, and the Bollinger Band is basically showing that we are at the bottom. So if you look at the CCI and the Bollinger Band, these two indicators are screaming that we are basically at the bottom of, 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 uh, of this fall at this point. It doesn't mean that we won't fall further. I just think that we'll have a pullback before we fall further, or we rally to the upside. Um, when the stochastic turns around, that will give an indication. If we break the 50 moving average, we go to these highs of uh, 126, and then we go to uh, 137. Uh, but we found support at the 100, 100 moving average. A break below that opens the door to the 150, and that is all the way down to $96 a share for Apple stock. I don't think that is going to happen. So Amazon fell 5.45%. We broke the 100 moving average. We are trading underneath the 100 moving average. So this looks very similar to most of these tech stocks. We have a highs here. We have a basically a double top, nearly a double top. We need to break it down a little bit further to, to, to conclude that. And we have very lows here of 2,879. Highs of 3,552. So we've been here before. Um, and I would, I would not be surprised if we fell a little bit further. Um, I would expect a pullback first because we are oversold at this point. But if we fell, we would find support here. And we would also find that we have the 150 moving average right underneath, which will act as support. So um, I would wait. The best entry is basically down here. At this uh, at this uh, price level, um, we've been here several times before here here and here and um, to the upside. We basically it looks like we have a double top here, so we're basically trading within this range. And at this moment, we are fairly in the mid range. We are in the lower parts of the range, but but uh, you should technically wait until we get close to this uh, price level. Uh, probably won't happen on Friday. May no Monday maybe. Because the other technical indicators like the stochastic, the CCI, and the MACD, they are pointing to lower levels. A break below the 150 opens the door to the 200. A break above this trend line here, or the 50 moving average, opens the door to these highs. So, Tesla. Tesla broke down, um, and at this moment, it looks like we are going to target the 100 moving average. It may not happen straight away. We may have some back and forwards because we are oversold. We are at 27 at this point. Technical indicators are still fairly bearish for Tesla stock. But we are, the bottom of this range is around here. We can see that we have been here several times before. This is just at the 100 moving average. So I would not be surprised if we went all the way down to the 100 moving average before we rallied. And if we break above the 50 moving average, then that opens the door to 456 and then to these highs of, of the top here of 502. So look at Facebook. Facebook had a horrible day on Friday. We found support at the 100 moving average. Uh, we could fall even further uh, compared to the other tech stocks. Uh, this stock is not oversold yet. We're only at 43 at this point, and the technical indicators have just turned around. So we may fall all the way down to 235, which will be the lows, <clears throat> sorry, which we have tested several times before. Over here, over here, over here, and then we probably test it again here. If that breaks, then we have the 150 moving average at $238. If we rally from here, we find resistance at the 50 moving average. A break above that opens the door to these levels at 285 and then to the highs. So Google was the only, <clears throat> sorry, Google was the, Google was the only uh, tech stock that was doing really well on Friday. We, we, um, we had a gap in the market and then we rallied 3.43%. And that's quite significant, but the similarity to, to the movement of the other tech stocks, it, it, it technically looks like Netflix. It's just lagging. So you can say that Netflix is, uh, Google is around here, 
at this point, while Netflix is down here. So we have the same movement. We have the highs. We're about to do the another, another high here, and then we'll most likely fall towards these lows. So it looks like that, that um, Google stock is just lagging at this point. We most, find, most likely find major resistance around this area or a little bit underneath. We're not overbought yet. We're only at 56, so there's a lot of room to the upside. Technical indicators are looking fairly good. The MACD has turned around, Stochastic is turning around, the CCI is turning around, and those of the Bollinger Band is showing signs of we probably have a little bit of pullback before we go higher, but, but the top here should be the top before we pull back, and that is a 733. A pullback from there, we'll find first uh, major support around the 50 moving average is around here at 1,559. Break below that, opens the door to the 100 moving average and then to the 150 moving average. So, hope you find this video helpful. You're welcome to support our channel by subscribing. Hit the like button and the bell button in order to see our new, newest videos. And if you want more content, uh, deeper analysis, uh, you're welcome to join us at Patreon uh, for the extra content. Good luck and thank you very much.